You're always searching for a better thing Wanna replace me I'm in a place that I've never been It's worse than lonely Can someone tell me there's a good in me There's good in me Cause I got doubts, I got doubts Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're here for the first time, my name is Ann and if you have been here already, welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I created this winged liner bronzy eye look with a purple lower lash line. I use this new palette from B8 Cosmetics which has a lot of beautiful colors. This is how it looks. So for today, I wanted to play with it. I know B8 Cosmetics has a lot of affordable products like a lot of affordable palettes so i want to try their products more often on my channel also i have a special discount code which i will put down in the description bar but yeah for today i created this bronzy eye look and i feel like i haven't done like a colorful lower lash line in a while so i wanted to do that for today's look so yeah in today's video i'm going to show you how i created this so let's get started so the first thing, like always, is I'm gonna prime my eyelids. I always do this as my first step because this will make sure that the eyeshadow will stay in place all day. Also, I feel like eyeshadows look more pigmented if you use an eyeshadow primer underneath it. So I'm gonna use this Max Soft Ochre Paint Pot and I'm applying this all over my eyelid. And I really love this primer. I've been using it for years and it's one of my favorites. Then now for today's video, I'm gonna use this palette from B8 Cosmetics, which is one of their newest palettes. They're actually launching a lot of new palettes, so keep an eye out on their Instagram. So the first color I'm gonna use is this really light color. And it's actually a little bit lighter than my own natural skin color, but I'm gonna apply this all over the eyelid just to make sure that the eyeshadow primer is locked in place. Then now I'm gonna apply some eyeshadow guards. This will leave me with a really sharp edge. And also it will kind of pick up any eyeshadow fallout, which is nice because I always use so many eyeshadows that I always have some eyeshadow falling on my face. So this will kind of pick it up. Also, I'm not wearing any foundation, so if it will happen, it doesn't really matter. So now I'm going to use this light brown color and I'm going to use this as my transition shade. I'm going to blend this all over in my crease going back and forth with my blending brush just to make sure that this product is everywhere and that it looks really nice and blended out. And like I always say in my videos, I always start with a light color. This makes it more easier to kind of build up the colors from going darker and darker. So definitely start with a lighter color first and this will make the whole blending process a lot more easy. Then now I'm taking a shade which is darker and I'm gonna do the same thing, just gonna blend this all over my crease. Now I switch to a brush which I believe is a little bit tinier. Um, this is the Sigma E40 and I'm gonna blend that in my crease as well. Uh, as you can see me doing right now, I'm first blending this mainly like at the outer end of my crease. And then when there's not that much product anymore, I'm also gonna blend this more towards the inner corner part of my crease. Um, but basically I want this product to be everywhere, but sometimes when you go in with too much product, like straight in, in your inner corner area, um, sometimes it's a little bit harder to blend it out since that area is a little bit tinier. So I always start at the outer V and then blend it more towards the inner corner part of my crease. And then I'm gonna use this darker shade, which I think is one of the darker shades in this palette. And I'm gonna blend this more around the outer V. I also want my whole crease to be a little bit darker, but just like I said with this previous color, I'm gonna start with blending this slowly all the way underneath, not underneath, all the way in the outer V area. And then when there's not that much product anymore left, I'm gonna slowly blend it a little bit more towards the middle part and then more toward the inner corner. And I'm taking this shade, which is like a gold shimmery color, really beautiful. And I'm gonna start applying that at the inner part of my eyelid. Also a little bit in the middle part, um, I kind of want to create like a sort of ombre effect on the eyelid where I use this gold shade at the middle part and then a darker shade at the outer end, if that makes sense. So I'm using two shades and this is the first color and just pressing this all over the eyelid. And if you want, you can make your brush wet and this will make it even more intense. But now I'm taking this dark brown color, which is a really nice shimmery bronzy kind of color really beautiful and i'm gonna apply that at the other side of my eyelid also softly blending it on top of that golden color just to make sure that those two eyeshadows really blend into each other 
and yeah let me know if you want to see more of these bronzy eye looks i mean summer is coming which makes me really excited i'm from the netherlands as most of you know and the sun is shining a lot the last couple of days which makes me so excited for spring and summer and i really want to do like a bunch of summer inspired makeup looks so if you have any ideas let me know in the comments so now that I'm done with that, I'm gonna remove the eyeshadow guards and you can see it leaves me with a very sharp edge, which I really like. Then now it's time to apply some eyeliner and I'm going in with this eyeliner from Maybelline, which is a drugstore eyeliner and it's actually one of my favorites. It's a really nice eyeliner. Also, when you forget to like close the jar, it will not dry out, which I really appreciate because I'm often really lazy and I just forget to close the cap. So... It's just nice that it doesn't really dry out. I really appreciate that. Let me know if you're just like me and you also forget the clothes like jars and stuff. Let me know if I'm not the only one. So I created a wing today because I feel like since I used the eyeshadow guards and it left me with a really sharp edge, I felt like this look will really suit like with a wing. But you can also do it without a wing, but I feel like this definitely kind of puts everything together. If you have hooded eyes and you don't really feel comfortable doing a wing, you can also do like a smudged out wing like I showed in my previous video. I will link it down. I made a video especially for hooded eyes. So if you want to know how I did that, make sure you check out my previous video. And now for my waterline, I'm going to use this pencil, which is from Barry M. It's their bold waterproof pencil and it's really nice for the waterline. It's like super black and that's what I'm going for today. So if you search for like a really nice drugstore kind of pencil, I think you will love this one. It's like super black. But now I'm going in with this purple shade from the BH Cosmetics palette. And I'm going to start with kind of softly pressing this underneath the lower lash line. And then when I have like most product packed on, I'm going to sweep my brush back and forth and blend it out. And I really love the contrast of the bronze on the eyelid and the purple lower lash line. I used to do like looks like this really often back in the days, but I feel like it has been a while since I did like a bronzy eyelid and a colorful lower lash line. So if you guys like that. Now for the inner corner of my eye, I'm taking this light purple kind of color, which is really beautiful. It's like a really light color, but like with a violet effect. It's really pretty. So I wanted to use this for the inner corner just to give it that extra pop. And since I did a purple low lash line i think it really suits with this eye look and of course i'm gonna do this at the other side of my eyes as well then now i'm gonna use a little bit of mascara i'm using the jlo and inglot mascara i used it in one of my previous videos and i really love this mascara it really makes my lashes super long this is the mascara i was talking about and of course i will be also using this for my lower lashes and that's why i especially really like this mascara for because it makes my lower lashes really long and I really love that in combination with lashes. But now for my lashes, I went in with the dark one of Denmark lashes in the style Adore. These lashes are really nice and beautiful. They're not too dramatic. I think these are like really gorgeous in between kind of lashes, which I normally go for. I think they suit my eyes the best. And then here you have the finished result. I really hope you all enjoy watching today's video. I really enjoy playing with this palette. I think it's a beautiful palette. You can create like more dramatic looks like I did today or more softer looks. This palette has a lot of soft colors. So if you're searching for a nice palette, which has really soft everyday kind of colors, I think you will definitely love this palette. Also, let me know in the comments down below what you want to see for my next video. At this moment, I kind of feel like I don't really have any inspiration. So if there are any specific eye looks you want me to create, let me know down in the comments down below. And yeah, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. This is really helpful for my YouTube channel. And hopefully I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys! Always searching for a better thing Wanna replace me I'm in a place that I've never been It's worse than lonely Cause someone tell me they say good in me There's good in me Cause I got doubts, I got doubts, I got doubts, yeah Sometimes I wanna risk it all Since you left me Struggle baby, I see pain Someone tell me they see good in me There's good in me Cause I got doubts I got doubts I got doubts, yeah Ooh, Isn't it strange we turn to strangers You've erased all your pictures
Bye.